Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example again looks like it's in a strange format. I don't see any zeros anywhere and only have two terms on the left side. But then again, if we move everything to the left side, if we move the positive 12 to the left, we will have what we would call the standard form. So this would then look like 5x squared minus 17x minus 12 equals 0. And now we just have to find a way to factor that. It'll look something like this, the products of two binomials equal to zero, but how do we find those two binomials? Well, we could use the FOIL method, and on the left side, the combinations to get five would be one and five, and five and one. Now notice the signs. We see a negative on the middle and a negative on the third term. That means that one of the numbers must be negative and the other one must be positive. And how do we get 12? Well, we can get 12 by having 12 and 1, 6 and 2, 4 and 3, 3 and 4, and 1 and 12. And 1 must be positive and 1 must be negative. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, that could be a little bit tricky, but let's say that maybe all of those are negative and these are then all the positive ones. We don't have to do it twice because we already have all the possible combinations on the left side. So now we need to be a little bit strategic. When I add the two products together, I get a negative 17. So I'm looking for a fairly large negative number. And um, hmm, if I go 5 times negative 4, that's minus 20. That's pretty close. And on 1 times 3, that's positive 3. That just might do it. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to try the combination of 1 and 5 and the combination of negative 4 and positive 3. Now if that doesn't work, we'll try a different combination, but let's see what happens. So we have 5 times a negative 4 and then we add to that a 1 times an, a positive 3. And notice that gives me a negative 20 plus 3, which is a negative 17, and that is indeed the middle term, so it looks like we got the right combination. So we can factor that trinomial by multiplying, let's see here, we have an x times a positive 3, x plus 3, and a 5x times a negative 4, plus a negative 4, 5x minus 4. So that's the proper factored form. Which means that since we multiply two binomials together and we get a zero, that means either x plus 3 must equal zero or the 5x minus 4 must equal zero. Which means that x must equal negative 3 as one possibility or when we move the 4 across we get 5x equals 4 or x equals 4 divided by 5 as the second solution. It's kind of a strange looking x. There we go. And so there we go, That's the, those are the two solutions to our quadratic equation, and that is how we solve it.